reswapping oil blocks for visa. The UK just announced that Guyanese can now travel without a visa to England and the entire country, including social media commentators, jumping up for joy as if the Guyanese people future set for life with that. <laughs> this country has more wealth per person than England, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and even America. And instead, they make that their everyday conversation. They're busy talking about visa, free travel to England. You guys ever know anybody give away anything for free in this world you live in? Everything has a kickback. Some trick or some game they're behind freeness. Never forget that. Hear this, just after the announcement of the visa-free travel by the UK, our president announced a government-to-government -government partnership with our oil blocks. This is what we're bargaining for, visa. Giving away our wealth, our country to England, while some of you get the opportunity to visit England visa-free. When and if you can afford a ticket. Yes. This is what our leaders barter for. Visa-free travel. For we, US trillion dollar oil blocks. Good going, guys. Good going. The coalition give away the whole Starbuck block and get 2%. Then this, President Ali, giving away the oil blocks in exchange for visa. And then got the North to tell us, don't abuse the arrangement because it could harm his efforts at securing visa-free travel to other countries. <laughs> Father, above, please help these people. Guyana, you're in more trouble now than any one of you could ever dream of. I had to pinch myself when I heard they waived the visa requirements and President Ali talking about government to government bartering of our oil blocks with these countries. Is this what Guyana has come to man? Swapping we US trillion dollar oil blocks for visa, visa free? Really? Really? We living with hourly blackouts, drinking stink water, can barely patch some of the roads, can't eat a proper meal, hospitals don't have medicines, and y'all jumping up for joy because you don't have to get a visa to go to England, man. Really? Really? It is so sad that the politicians of this country are still so much in love with these former slave masters that a visa will make them enslave the Guyanese all over again. They had enslaved our four parents in chains back in the days and exploited the resources of this land. Today, you're not being enslaved and exploited in chains, but with visa-free travel in exchange for your oil blocks. Good going, eh? This is how they're selling out, we country and all of us, like cheap W's of the street. All for their personal benefits. Is there a future ahead? I'm just asking. And I just want to tell you, evil never takes a holiday. It always on the job. This is a message from Glenn Lal. Please share it.